Miriam, we'd like to just thank you for your time mm. to have a chat with us about some of the things, some of the, the things that you're donating and maybe a little bit about um, your time in Tonga or any memories you might have. It's a boarding you know. school. Yes, in Lifuka. So that's Villa Level. The Methodist Church for Native Girls on Lifuka. Yes, that's the pupils. right. Pupils. So that's um, with the photo here. It shows the Villa Level. That's where you, you were, the boarding yeah. school. Do you remember if the girls did make any crafts in, in the schools or...? or um, when we were at Queen's Alotta College, that was one of the things we were assessed on, how to weave a ta'avala made out of uh, this. this yeah, this and it's very, very difficult to make it straight, you know, because oh. it curves. It, you know, it, well, mine was curving. <laughs> and all the things that are assessed, all then were sold at the bazaar. Right. And um, the story with mine was that morning my little ta'avala was hung there because it was curved. Nobody would wear it because it would be like a skirt. <laughs> My auntie went to see it, nobody sold it. <laughs> then, and at the end of the day, she went there, she felt so sorry that it was still hanging there and she bought it. So every time I go to Donga, she, to Donga, she goes, do you remember this one? <laughs> Beautiful fan made from the coconut, um, the, the young coconut leaves. And this is also the fiber from the coconut husk. So this is a very well made one. This would have been made in the craft class, I think. Yes. Beautifully made, that one. Mm. This is a, a Tongan. I, I think that I think they would be made in the craft class. Oh. And this Tongan pro proverb, you know, like uh, papata pe kana e lalanga, which means um, even, even though something may not seem worthy, it's still valued because of the effort and time that it's taking to, to produce it. So mm -hmm. even though we may see something, oh, that doesn't look too good, but you know, it still has its own value in itself because of the length of time it takes. Like for that mat, for example, even though that's the most basic of our mats, that would have taken years and years to grow the plant itself and then to dry the leaves and then go through then the, the, the weaving itself is just mm. a final process, yeah. Tonga seems to be a small country but it is so important. Mm. No. The people of Tonga can, can do a lot of things mm. with their craft. Hi, my name is Esetha Ahulele. Um, as a technical officer in the Australian Museum, uh, I first came across Muriel Snell's uh, collection um, when it was proposed to be donated to, to the museum. And re I received a, about a dozen images of, of a few hand Tongan handicrafts. And um, when I went to visit um, the donor, it was 200 objects that we were looking at rather than a dozen. I hope that. Um, from the collection and interaction between um, community members, artists and, and um, craftspeople that um, a lot of knowledge and um, stories are going to be shared and 